why does an egg stand up when it's spun? In the beginning, when you start spinning the egg, egg is lying down, so potential energy is very low, but kinetic energy, how much it's moving, is very, very large. And it's as if nature or the egg is saying, oh, I don't want this discrepancy, I want to distribute them as equally as possible, so it stands up, the increase in the kinetic, um, potential energy at the expense of the kinetic energy which is in plenty supply. Here is an exaggerated penny, it's very heavy, it's a shiny piece of metal. Because it's heavier, when I set it to roll, the motion lasts a long time. You can hear and you can see that something is accelerating, going faster and faster. Every time I do some mathematical project, I try to invent or find somewhere in the world a toy that illustrates what I do and conversely whenever I see some interesting object in nature that behaves in a funny way I try to do mathematics about it. This toy looks like a boat. It's very smooth at the bottom, it's completely symmetric, mounted by two turtles. If you let them face each other, you see you are, they are fond of each other, then you can spin them clockwise or anticlockwise. If they are back to back, so they no longer like each other, you can spin them clockwise or anticlockwise very smoothly. Or if one of the turtles is fond of the other, but alas, love is not reciprocated, then you can spin them one way or the other as you like. So far, no surprise. But now, if you position the turtles like this, one point in this way, the other point in this way, then something interesting happens. So if you ask them politely and gently, of course, please go forward, they are willing to oblige us smoothly. But if you try to force them to go backwards, they say, no, 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 we don't want to go backwards, and they reverse the spin. Now, those turtles, when you position them so that one turtle has its neck sticking out this way and the other turtle sticking out this way, what it does, indeed, is to skew the distribution of the weight on the rattle back. This behavior, which is called the chiral behavior, chirality meaning left and right handedness distinguished depending on spin, is very, very novel, and it's never been looked at before elsewhere. And people haven't really understood why this has been happening, so it's been the object of intensive research, and it's only last year that we finally understood what was going on. It turns out, and this is something that people hadn't noticed before either, if you spin them in the forward direction, there is a slight instability, and provided the friction doesn't stop the motion and too early, actually it can reverse even from the forward direction. It goes back and forth, back and forth. Now, it turns out that every million years or so, on average, on rough average, the magnetic field of Earth flips over, north and south are exchanged. People have no idea how this happens. On the other hand, we do have a fairly good idea of what the basic mathematical model of what's causing the magnetic field is. That's the convection of hot stuff inside the Earth, which is carrying charged particles, and whose convection, whose spin, is producing the magnetic field and producing north and south poles. So we understand that mathematical model. It turns out that the mathematical model that emerges from the study of the rattlebacks, we weren't expecting this, but it emerges naturally, is extremely analogous to the model of the convection current of inside the Earth. Now, we understand how turtles or rattlebacks reverse. Nobody as yet understands how the magnetic field of Earth reverses. That's extremely tantalizing, and that's a very novel and fresh approach to the whole problem.